for like two and a half hours.
good thing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we're live. Hello. We're we're live. Hello. Megan switched the thingu, as you may have heard. <laughs> the um, thingu had to be switched. It occurs to me. Have to be switched. You guys might be. How are we doing? You might be a little quiet. Let me. I don't know. Let me turn you up. Yeah. <laughs> I I I don't think there's right. any actual viewers in chat right now. So. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I'm here. If, 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 going live. If somebody, yeah, I, I did. Yeah. If anyone wants to like listen to the sound balance and tell us. Squanchy, hello. Squanchy. How do we sound? Squanchy. Um, because we are somewhat like unsure of uh, what our our status is. <laughs> <laughs> also, welcome to the shit show. <laughs> How are you? Mic check. Everybody Mic speak. Check. I'm okay. roll call. Ghost pepper. It's, this whole stream is the whole, oh shit portion of the stream. It's me. Yeah. I might have to. I just have a feeling I'm gonna have to that turn was, that down. Was the worst. It's me. That's the most <laughs> worst, Music. Like Power Rangers style roll call ever. That's just wait that's till we. Woof, you're, woof, you're like the. You're off. like the. Woof, you're like the beige ranger. How yeah. is it you're now? Like... I've adjusted some things. <laughs> you're like the, the taupe ranger. <laughs> So Meg is louder than the rest of us by a bit, and then the rest of us. Um, right. How's the music, uh, Squanch? That means that the rest of us just have to scream. I can't do that. I'm right. sorry. Right. I don't want to do that. Music so six. Okay, I tried turning the music, music down. Six. So that's probably where. Yeah. I've tried turning the music down a bit. Let me know. Doing that is hard, oh, man. For, I've got such a sound balance issue on my computer where, like, I can't get things to be, like, the right volume. You're, like, together. always quiet on your streams. You're always very well, quiet on your streams. Yeah. yeah. I don't understand because I don't know. I don't get it. Um, don't how it how are we how are we looking now? Uh. How do we sound? I apologize. This is the first and only time I've done this. Let me turn the music down even more. This is why I don't like want to 10%. do this for my cats. Wait, I mean it's yeah, but you bring the music in from somewhere else on Winds of Chaos, so I feel like that would be helpful. How is it now? <laughs> I fiddled. I fiddled with the music. I turned the music down. I turned everybody else up. Um, I can turn down my mic if I need to. Woof needs to be turned up a bit. Oh, are you listening on stream? What? Are you listening on stream? Talk, everybody talk. Also, yeah. I do tend to talk a little quiet, so. Hi, this is Flutter speaking. Hello. Uh, Flutter needs to be up a little bit. So Woof and Flutter need to go up. What about Ghost? Ghost needs to talk. I think I think I'm fine. Put him on zero. Goes <clears throat> good. All right, flutter up. Woof up. What? Did I use a little increase? Up, up, up. Can only go up from here. Me down a little bit. How do I adjust my Your microphone voice. input? Is that on? That is on your, I think that's on your computer side. That's in your setting. I can't do that in OBS. I can't just turn down my mic input. You, you can. can turn it down you in, your, yeah. in your little- Is that just the bar that's, on, is that just the thing? bar that's underneath it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you got the sound bar. I can also, I realized, do this and just actually turn up my- <laughs> How's that? Is that better? Is that better? Squanchy, thank you so much for doing this. For being yeah, the person awesome. who helps us with this. <laughs> much appreciate. Is there anything else that needs changed? I could think of a handful of things. No. 
<laughs> with, the, with the sound, though. With the sound. Whoops, say something. What? T speak a sentence. Hello, it's me. That's such a great sentence. <laughs> <laughs> You well, got you got okay. two sentences out of them. Yeah, Ooh. I was hoping that he would say like an actual. I am doing well. well. Thank you. <laughs> okay, everyone sounds deliver, balanced. Deliver a, a so Shakespeare story for us. Oh my gosh! <laughs> to, to be or not to be. I used to be able to do that. That is the question. Welcome to uh, my wonderful shit show. I don't know what this. I don't actually know what this is. It's uh, my little what shit it's show. Gonna be. My little shit show. Shh, I don't want to get a copyright <laughs> strike. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is my first time hosting this kind of stream. I've never done a stream with more than one person on it before on camera. Mm. Um, when I've done it before, it's been on Ghost's channel. So this is my first time doing this. Um, we are going to play a little uh, dating game called Make Your OTP. Um, <laughs> I forgot to update the uh, title before I went live, but I did update it post going live. So hopefully it reflects that this is a not a sh writing stream, but a uh, just chatting book stream event. Um, we're gonna play that old style dating game where one contestant is presented with three different uh, dates, potential dates, um, and they ask them questions and get answers. And um, hopefully they'll be able to guess who their suitors are. All the suitors are characters from my books. Um, and also we'll find out who is everyone's OTP, except mine, because it would be weird if I dated my own characters in my own books. I feel <laughs> that would be super weird, um, so I'm not gonna be the contestant. Um, but, uh, everyone else is gonna get a chance to be the contestant. Um, this, there's been very minimal planning for this stream. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, everyone has been told who they're supposed to be for the various rounds. Um, just to get things started and to give more people a chance to decide if they want to venture in here and see what this whole <laughs> shit show is going to be. Um, the point of this is that I put out a new book today. It's um, here in the center of the screen. Uh, if you hit that new release command... <laughs> Peter, hello. I don't know what you're in for, but you're here. Thank you. Peter. <laughs> Peter. Um, if you have that new release command link, you will get linked to this beautiful book that's in the center here. Direction. That's beautiful. Um, I love these it. cuties on the cover. It, it is my brand new book, Duality, the fourth book in my Celestial Serenade. Uh, it is out today. You can get it in digital, you can get it in paperback. Um, you can get it. You couldn't get it before today, and now you can. <laughs> Revelation. Um, and we're celebrating that today with whatever this is. Also, uh, if you click on that link and go to the first book in the series, The End of All Things, it is on sale for 99 cents this week only uh, until, <laughs> until Friday at midnight when it will revert back to $3.99. Um, so you can check that out. You're the Conan looking one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Um, cool. Yeah, well, if, if it's me and you on the cover, I'm the Conan looking one. You're the, you're the that one means, that looks oh, like, yeah. um, that you're, you're the one that looks like Captain Jack whatever from that, <laughs> oh uh, he's god. like that Doctor Who side character. That means you're gonna have to be the big spoon though. Guys. Okay. Have fun with that. I, 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 well, I will we not know use a we know everyone's game. OTP if, now. If, so we, if we crash, that's my if stream. we crash Thanks landed in the Andes, woof. It's you Space J and Silent Bob. <laughs> oh, someone already space got the Space J and Thank Silent you. Bob. <laughs> uh, so we know that everyone's is, OTP. Thanks for coming. Be. We're gonna stop right now before this goes any further. A special edition gold foil stamped cover. Unfortunately, there's no gold foil. Um, but if I made a mistake in the book, like I did with the second book and no one caught it, 
Uh, there might be a special oh. edition. <laughs> If you have a first print of um, mm. After the Nightmare like or Across the Void, yeah, I believe if you look at the, I believe if you look at the headers at the very top of the pages, it will say the end of all things the instead of Across of the Void. <laughs> uh, the inside has the wrong, and I like four people checked um before uh i i actually didn't realize until i formatted the third book that the second book was formatted incorrectly so anyone who bought the original run across the void has a very special edition <laughs> version <laughs> uh with the uh original headers um it's beautiful. But, uh, yeah. So. Those, those make for more valuable collector's items, actually. Right. Yeah, someday when I'm famous. There's a misprint. Lol. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yep. yep. Um, so, yeah, I wrote this book a couple years ago. Hello, Z439 Core 000. How are you? Um, welcome to whatever madness this is about to become. Uh, we're doing a little role-playing game today to celebrate the coming out of my brand new book, uh, Duality, which is in the center here. I'm Megan Cutler, aka Starborn Striker. Normally I do a writing on my streams, but tonight we're celebrating the release of my brand new book um, with a little fun dating role-playing game that I expect to go full crazy as soon as we actually get started. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry for what you're about to witness. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> to everyone for what they're about to witness. It's like those two sorry. base coins. This is gonna okay. be a beautiful train wreck. It is gonna be a beautiful <laughs> train wreck. I knew what I was getting into. Do you not have an alert into. box on this? What was that? Do you not have an alert box on this scene? Oh, oh shoot, no. You probably don't have an alert box. Let I me bet you can add, that, add that right now. That's that's an easy add. Mm -hmm. That's an easy add. Um, yeah. yeah, as long as it's in, as it's in there once. That's yep. a browser sourcing. That's a browser source, yeah. And then click on add existing, and then you can find your alert box in the list. All right. Now we have an alert box. My apologies for Yay. that. Also, let nice. me add my um, emote explosions, because I realized yes. I forgot to put those in. I love the emote explosions. I think they're the best thing in the world. Just put those into the alert box. I think that's everything. If I forgot something else, I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point in time. <laughs> if it's even a modicum important, we will. <laughs> yeah, I I will admit that I spent the, the last like 15 minutes panicking before we went live. So if there's something missing, um, that's why. <laughs> I've, I believe uh, that is something we've all done. <laughs> true. I've never formally hosted uh, a stream like this before. There we go. There's the new caller yes. thing popped up. Uh, also, Ghost, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Squanchy. Yeah. yeah. I was I was just testing the alert box. I was just testing the alert box. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so there you go. That's for helping us out with all those sound issues. Um, also, I see a uh, cauliflumps lurking. Thank you so much for the lurk, cauliflumps. Ooh, thank um, you. I'm sorry for what you're about to witness. Oh, also, thank you, Ghost, for gifting a sub. Uh, you realize that you're just sorry, like. <laughs> With the, stream, with the stream delay, I wasn't sure if it worked the first time. <laughs> Just transferring money to your wife via Twitch. But okay, Ghost Pepper's my wife. Or my wife? Ghost Pepper's my wife. Ghost Pepper's my husband. How dare um, you? For anyone who doesn't know. For anyone who doesn't know, Ghost Pepper's my husband. <laughs> Look, it just came out. It just came out. Oh, my God. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We've been happily married for 19 years. The divorce papers will be on my desk tomorrow morning. I yeah, have no but she, doubt. But she still doesn't know which is which. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, so that's that's why we're here. We're here to celebrate the coming out of my book, the fourth in uh, my Celestial Serenade. Some characters from the Celestial Serenade may appear in tonight's dating sim game. I don't know what you would actually call this in our in our party game. Excited to read my book? Well, thank you so much. I'm excited that you're excited, and I hope that once you read it, you'll let me know what you think. 
Um, I did mention this, I don't know if you caught it um, before um, you came into the stream, but the first book in the series, The End of All Things, is actually on sale for 99 cents, the digital version, until Friday. Um, so it's the perfect time to check out the series. Um, so not, there's not really rules for this game, um, but I did provide a list of questions. I'm going to request that unless you guys really want this to go off the rails, that we stick to the questions. Um, I'm picking <laughs> up right now. Thank you so much. Uh, is it okay if I call you Z or do you like, uh, Z439? Um, I suggest sticking to the questions because I specifically tried to pick questions that would not require you to have very detailed knowledge of the books themselves. <laughs> Although if we want to go completely uncanon, I leave that up to you guys. Um, why would you say if I- well, it's gonna go off the rails. I said if we want it to go completely, like, <laughs> horrifically <laughs> off the rails. Um, I provided enough questions that everyone can ask um, three questions of each suitor per round. If You can also use the same question multiple times if you want. Um, depending on how long or short we want the rounds to be, you can we can cap it at two questions, we can leave it at three, we can just go based on what feels good at the time. Um, uh, most of these people have a D&D &D game to play tomorrow night, so I'm going to try not to keep them too super late. <laughs> Um, I've given the players carte blanche to portray their characters in any way that they want. So disclaimer, characters as pictured on the stream may not be exactly like the characters in the book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try my best. We're, yeah, we're, some of us at least are trying a little oh, bit, no. but some of us also haven't read some of the books for a while. So <laughs> is that, is that me saying that, oh, is that's the, um, <laughs> <laughs> is that me saying that ghost is my wife? <laughs> I don't think there's any way I don't think there's any way to get that gift sub back. Even if you ban someone, they don't lose their sub. <laughs> um so yeah, that's a little intro to what's about to happen. Um I don't know if any of us are really ready, but who who would like to be the first contestant on Make Your OTP? Or should we ask chat? Should we ask the the three people, <laughs> the three people watching this crazy train, who wants to be who wants no, to be Peter, first? Peter Peter wants to be the first. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it will have to be one of these three people because I'm afraid if I touch anything on the stream, it will explode. <laughs> um. <laughs> <I'm> despair. <laughs> maybe, so. maybe pick, maybe pick what, which one of us. Roll a dice. You guys want me to roll a dice? Oh, well, first, Squanchy, Squanchy says has spoken. Okay. So, um, me. I politely nominate Woof. All right, we have we have some agreement going on. Um, all right, so. You all have been told who you're supposed to be uh, when Woof is. I can't believe we're doing this. I really can't. This is ridiculous. This is, you this, guys. This is the craziest thing that I've ever I come can't up with. I can't believe my perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> um, so everybody knows who they are. Um, <laughs> myself, a ghost, and Flutter Die will be playing characters from my books who will be revealed hopefully when Woof guesses them. Um, <laughs> 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 um all right. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> we'll go um we'll go around the screen. I guess I will be bachelor number one. Um Flutter can be bachelor number two, and Ghost can be bachelor number three. I say bachelor, dating option, option one, option two, and option three. <laughs> um, you can ask questions in any order that you want, um, and you can reuse the same questions or use different questions. Um, 
I hope this is going to be like those dating VHS tapes. Pretty much. This is like that show from the 70s. Oh no, it's we have a so new... Bad. Yeah. Oh, Honey Shuckle. <laughs> honey Shuckle, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to this madness. Hey, Honey Shuckle. Just in time for things to get super cray. Uh, Woof is okay. the first contestant on Make Your OTP. And he I is... wrote down everyone's names to try and take my, my guest down. Maybe. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Kick off this shit show, I guess. <laughs> Get okay. us started. <laughs> so wait, who's one, two, and three? I'm one, Flutter okay. is two, and Ghost is three. I hope that makes okay. sense in the way that you're looking it at does. the screen. Uh, yes. Everything's backwards for me, so. Okay. So, so Bachelor or Bachelorette contestant. There we go. Let's be gender neutral. Yeah. Number one. If you described yourself as an animal, what animal would you be? Oh, well, there's only one animal that can properly describe me, and that is a peacock, because oh. I know how to preen. Thank you. No one can preen as well as I do. Well, peacocks are very nice to look at. Indeed. All three of us already know which as character you are. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't choose which question got asked of me. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, contestant uh, number two. Um, what special gift would you give your partner? Um, I would, Final I would thank you for the subscription. Create... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay. Final. I'm sorry for what you're about to witness if you watch any of this. <laughs> <laughs> also, honey, shuckle, enjoy your lurk. Yeah. Um, I would, um, I would create a special code or language that only the two of us shared. I like that. That's really cool. Uh, contestant number three. Uh, how do you relax in your free time? Well, I, I relax by uh, punching a wee git in the jaw. <laughs> was that was that a kit or a kit? Could you repeat yourself? A git. A git. Like a fool. So we get I. How about okay, Derek a little, a little punching mushroom. people? <laughs> My goodness. Sometimes a kid, if he pissed me off. <laughs> you punch children? Okay. Right. I can understand the desire to do that sometimes. Die. Disclaimer, characters may not appear in the role play as they do in the book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Contestant number one. Uh, let's see. What's your best pickup line? Uh, my best pickup line is... We all know there's only one star that shines brightest at this party, but you come close to second, darling. <laughs> nice. I appreciate that. Oh, God. Is that shine from the uh, friction from your head rubbing up your arse? <laughs> I don't think the contestants are supposed to talk to each other. But they do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I like this. At least I don't punch children. <laughs> <laughs> At least I do. <laughs> All right, contestant number two. Uh, let's see. What is your hated talent? I'm good keeping a couple moves ahead of someone. Okay. I don't know why I slipped in a Kiona accent there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're just reaching for the Mazra inside. <laughs> I, I'm genuinely trying to think of the character that I'm supposed to be, and that's what came out. I feel like I feel like she's putting the most effort into this, and I applaud it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, contestant number three. Uh, let's see. What nickname would you give yourself? Yeah, what nickname 
what did I give myself? The bear. Bear. Okay, well, I, I, I happen to be very fond of bears. So. <laughs> oh, I. Where else? <laughs> Um, all right. I think I get, I think I get one, one more round. Yeah, let's, it hasn't been very long, so you may as well go for three questions. Okay. <laughs> we can do more um, if it, if it, if we don't okay. feel like we've completely explored these characters as much as we want to. Uh, contestant number one. Uh, let's see. If you were to receive a special reward, what would it be for? Oh, hosting. I am an excellent host. No one ever leaves my house unhappy or hungry. I make a point of it. I host only the best parties. Can I just live at your house? It depends on whether or not you choose me as, as your date. Fair point. Okay. Uh, contestant number two. Uh, let's see. How would you describe your perfect date? Okay, so we would sneak into a movie theater and go up into the, the booth where they project the movie down. And um, maybe we'd splice in a frame or two here or there and just sit there and watch the audience, watch the movie. Uh, and then maybe go for ice cream or something afterward. I do like ice cream. Sounds good, I like that. Uh, contestant number three. Uh, let's see. Aye. Okay. Where's your favorite place to spend time? Oh, in the fight in the ring, innit? Just punching gits in the face. <laughs> showering their jaws, trampling them underneath my feet. Okay. Do you feel like you know who your <laughs> suitors are, or do you need to I, ask another question of somebody? I think I know who two of them are, but one of them I'm I'm unsure. Uh, bonus bonus round because this has taken like no time at all. Bonus round. Okay. Bonus round. Uh, ask the people that you're unsure about a bonus question okay. in order to determine their identities. Let's see. You picked literally the best question to ask me, so. Right. I know. <laughs> Contestant uh, three. Let's see. What special gift would you give your partner? Hey, what special gift would I give my partner a gigantic axe? But okay. if my partner were cheating on me, I would give him a gigantic <laughs> axe in the face. Good to know. So don't cheat on him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so before you guess who your suitors are, I feel like goes to describe the handle of the axe. <laughs> Long and hard and girthy. <laughs> Look, as well, long as I get that. the half end and not the other end, I'm fine. With right. that. Uh, so before you guess um, who we are, would you please tell us who you're most considering uh, dating? Let's lock in your choice of who you would like to be your OTP. Mm. I'm kind of leaning towards one because food was mentioned. I mean, I, I don't think I'd go out to a party. I'd just stay home all the time, as long as food was always there. But you wouldn't have to worry about anyone outshining you. No one outshines me, darling, but thank you. I, I figured. Um, I do like ice cream and movies, though, so. Who do you believe that contestant <laughs> number one is? 
It's Salas. It is. It's Salas. It's Salas. Uh, so I was playing Sweet Boy. Salas, my sweet Salas, who I know is one of Wood's favorite characters in the Celestial Serenade, a character from the series that we are here to celebrate, a character on the very cover uh, right. of the book right next to me. The uh, one that's me. The boy in the background. The one that's Wolf, apparently. Um, <laughs> indeed, the small spoon. Um, <laughs> uh, so you can find sweet baby Salas in here. Yeah, he's also on the cover of After the Nightmare in the back there. Uh, you can find our sweet baby Salas in the Celestial Serenade in The End of All Things, which is on sale for 99 cents right now, and in the brand new book. And who do you believe was the identity of contestant number two? I think, I think it's Vess. Uh, so it is, no? it is only characters from books that I have published. So I will give oh, you duh. one more guess uh, as to who you think maybe it is. Are you, are you mainframe? Also not from a book I have published. <gasps> oh, that's true. Oh. Wait, which one? <laughs> <laughs> Just because you've beta re read it doesn't mean that it hasn't been published I know, yet. that's true. I'm thinking like five books ahead. You are. Uh, Only from books that are currently available for other people. That's read. true. Oh my god. Boy in the Background was the less successful sequel to Michael Jackson's song, Man in the Mirror. <laughs> funny, funny story while Wolf is trying to think of who Flutter might be. Um, I actually asked my cover artist if she can make Salas's hair longer for this cover, and she said, if I make his hair any longer, he looks like a Karen. And I said, no, that's fine. This length is good. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he kind of is in some ways, though. <laughs> in, cer in certain ways. Not in this sort of but... All right. One guess of a character from a book that's currently published. Uh, All good guesses so far, but not guesses from books that people can read. Loki. Yeah. Okay. I I I, I will. Okay. In ch so as we all know, Flutter is playing her character to the T because she did whisper me with a hint, which I believe Loki. <laughs> I believe Loki I would do. What was the? I didn't. Get she did not tell me who answer. it was. She did not tell me the name. <laughs> She gave me a one word adjective. Is that an adjective? What did she say? Is that word an adjective? It's it's a potential all of the things. It's a verb. It's an adjective. Okay. What's anyway, the, yeah. What, was, no, what was the word? Mischief. Mis mischief. Uh, and then yes. I thought mischief and ice cream for ice. And then, yeah. Uh, and, and sneaking into a movie theater movie and then yes. slicing pieces into the movie. Enjoy your I'm alert still, final. That's a total Loki thing. I'm still sort of leaning towards one only because I think Loki is too cool for me. Um, so I, I am gonna need. <laughs> I'm gonna need you guys. When I, when I'm when I'm in the hot seat, I'm gonna need you guys to DM me a lot of hints. <laughs> no, uh, it was very in character. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna very get in any character, of mine. It's very in character for Loki to do something like that, especially since mm -hmm. she said that she would develop a secret method of communication mm -hmm. uh, for her date. Mm -hmm. uh, Flutter is playing the fabulous Lady Loki from Eternity's Empire, one of my mm. favorite characters. Flutter's ready with all the books. I didn't bring any of yeah. mine, so I'm very pleased by this. Uh, Loki is a pirate queen, actually. She's um, the best! I love her so much. Her. I was so Fabulous. happy when you told me that I was gonna be playing her. Yes, one of my, one of my favorite characters Where to write. Where was the pirate voice? Listen, Where okay, but if I could pirate, wouldn't that She is a space pirate. <laughs> So I really, uh, really this was the one. This was the one that I wanted to do like a like a Scottish or Irish accent with, but like I couldn't. I wanted to so badly. Why? I mean, obviously a Norwegian accent would probably be, or a Scandinavian accent would be better, but like I can't <laughs> right. even begin on that one. I could maybe start right. on the other one. That's no. amazing. So for Why can't you do a Scottish Hello? accent? You heard me execute one perfectly. <laughs> yeah. For anyone, I, Scottish is a hard accent. It is. It has to do with how you hold your mouth, I think, honestly. Mm -hmm. Well, um, yeah. For anyone who's unfamiliar with Eternity's Empire, about 90% of the characters from it are mythological. 
Um, so I have done my best to base all of the characters off of actual myths, but of course I've made them my own. And one of the ways that I did that was I made Thora and Loki into ladies. They are sisters instead of brothers. Um, I follow much of the traditional um, Norse mythology uh, as uh, after that point. Uh, so unlike in the Marvel Universe where Loki is an ice giant, um, my Loki is properly depicted as a fire giant uh, because that is Loki is a fiery god of mischief. Uh, and I am actually- That was her color, her, her personality color question was or like red fiery red yes <laughs> yes <laughs> um and uh yeah uh she was one of my my favorite characters to add to the series and to actually develop and i've gotten so many comments from readers actually on on them enjoying reading about loki so uh yeah. Uh, wasn't expecting to see all of you. Uh, this is my first very special event on my channel, Cyberwolf, so welcome. Um, last night was internet moving into a new place tomorrow, so I figured I would stop by and say, hey, well, thank you so much for coming to my special I event. I hope the move goes really well for you, Cyber. Yes, I hope it goes smoothly. Moving is the worst. I've been watching that West End production of Watch <clears throat> Rocky Horror that you sent me. Nice, I need uh, to get a chance to watch that. It's great. Um, I'm not quite all the way to the point where your song is, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, last but certainly not least, who do you think Bachelor number three or no, date option I know number this, three is? I know this isn't correct, but I, I, I would say off, off the top of my head, Gimli. But, <laughs> I did not write uh, Lord of the Rings, sadly. I know. <laughs> the, the only, so I'm, try, I'm trying to cut out books I know that aren't. If you really published. get stuck, I will tell you which which book series they're I, from. The only person I can think of off the top of my head, it, and I can't, can I, I feel, what? After Wolf guesses, <laughs> if he's yeah, wrong. Yeah. Awful yeah, right. because I can't remember her name, but the character from DDL, who is the warrior lady, and I cannot remember her name. What was your guess, Flutter? Not that. <laughs> <laughs> what was your guess? <laughs> um, um, it was, um, it was Liam. <laughs> uh, Liam, I don't think Scottish. <laughs> no, no, but like, but um, the attitude. <laughs> it was, it is, it is a souk. Uh, the lady from yes, DDL, yes. the warrior lady from DDL. You're three, you're three for three oh, with that little it. bit of help from from wow. Flutter. A little bit, yeah. Um, and as she is, she is canonically Scottish <laughs> in a world that doesn't have Scotland apparently. from a, from a part, from a part of, from a part of Scotland you haven't heard of. <laughs> I, I think that you actually did a fantastic job. I don't know that she would right. punch children, but you know, maybe if but, one really, well, if they, really annoy, if they her annoy her, maybe. if they annoy her, she would. I think the hardest one for me is literally, the, it's like- A git isn't necessarily a child. Sorry, no, but, but he did switch to saying eventually yeah, that he, he did. would I smack can, a yeah. child. Yeah. Just because I get well, confused. I did, say, I did say a git and then Woof asked yeah. me to clarify if I had said a kid. <laughs> so I pivoted. Yeah. And said a, a git, but I would punch a kid. If yeah. Be. Yeah, I just, I yeah, just, I had trouble remembering I was just what my nose. was published and what was not published. <laughs> right. Uh, it's a it's a bit uh, it cooled down again here today, so I'm a bit sniffly. So if I black <laughs> out for a minute, it's just because you guys don't need to see me blowing my nose. Now that you know who uh, the bachelors are, would you keep your locked in choice of your OTP? Uh... In Scotland, we pronounce small child as wee bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but I don't think Salas would like me very much because I'm lazy. So, uh, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't take him to fancy parties and whatever. Uh, I'd just be like that lazy husband on the couch. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. know if I don't know if that's the way you think. If you're never leaving the house, Salas would not deal with that well. No. Uh, yeah. So who is your true, who do you think your true OTP, if we do the OTP reunion show 10 years from now, who did you end up with? 10 years from now? 
<laughs> Who did you actually end up dating and making a happy life with for the OTP reunion show? This is hard because I don't think any of these people would like me. Uh, okay, but who would you who would you most like to spend your life with? That's your OTP. Well, Salas, because you cook for me. <laughs> there you go. Whoops, OTP. Go. Whoops, OTP. Salas. Uh, sweet baby Salas from... Uh, I call him Sweet Baby mostly because I think that's how Wolf thinks of him. Yeah. Uh, from the Celestial Serenades. There you go. Oh my god. Flutter just has everything she needs to refill her drink at her desk. This is why I love her. Of... I just... I. This is why I kind of want my OTP to be Flutter. <laughs> Uh, and we know that Ghost is going to divorce me because I accidentally called him my wife, so. <laughs> um, so there you go. That was our first round of um, Make Your OTP. We've paired off Yay. one person very happily uh, with their OTP from my books. Um, uh, just... Very responsible flutter. <laughs> Uh, he's not my wife. It just slipped out. I had I had wife on the brain, and um, that was what I said. It was, it was a Freudian slip. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Ghost. <laughs> um. So yeah, just a reminder that um, we are here celebrating the book that Sal comes from. One of the books that he comes from, Duality, my brand new release. Um, I'm just going to hit that new release command in case anyone wants to hop over and check that out. Um, I hope that was suitably insane. I expect them to get more and more insane as the rounds go on. <laughs> um, the first book in the series is on sale for 99 cents. I know I'm saying that a lot, but just in case people have come that weren't here before or any of our lurkers have wandered away and come back. The digital version of The End of All Things, which Flutter's holding up right now, is on sale for 99 cents this week only. On Friday at midnight, it will revert back to being 3 dollars uh, All of these books are available in paperback. Um, also, there is a big, thick coffee table edition of the first three books called Symphony of the Stars, um, which I don't know if Flutter has ready to, ha to hold up. <laughs> Um, but it is about 700 pages long if you prefer, if you prefer to have, it's okay. You don't have to have the full library. I don't even have this book in my house yet. I really yet. want it though. <laughs> um, so if you prefer, if you prefer, if you prefer them really thick, I can't believe I'm saying that because it's going to be a blurb. If you prefer them really thick, you can get the, uh, table, the, the coffee table version of Symphony of the Stars, uh, browse and all that jazz. I write them thick. That's what I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying uh, what this is, because this is what the next uh, at least hour is probably going to be. So um, who should get to uh, date? Um, uh, I guess I should ask, um, just to give everyone a, br a brief breather before we do this again. Um, if you could choose any of, um, my characters to be your OTP, uh, from the books that are currently published, um, is Salas the one that you would have picked? Or would you have picked someone else? I tried to, I should specify that I did try to pick characters that I thought would make good pairings with the people that, that would, that people playing would be interested in pairing with. I feel like with a Sook, I would be like the, the happy, like, um, you can be the warrior woman and I'll just stay home and uh, <laughs> work from home uh, doing random jobs. I mean, you uh, would be living in a medieval society, so you would basically yeah. be skinning the hunt and, you know, gathering stuff from the garden. Right. Uh, Taking care but of the not horses. going amongst people is the issue. <laughs> yes, the thing, and the no. thing with Loki, I would have to not be on the ship when they do the jumps because I would vomit. Uh, I, I get motion sick. But if we hung out on a planet, that'd be great. So I, you're saying that I picked your three OTPs, is what you're saying? I could go, yeah. There's no one else that you would pick that wasn't uh, brought up. 
She's she's leading you. She's leading no, you. No, I'm oh, just find the asking. Answer. I'm just asking. Find the correct if, answer. <laughs> I'm guessing I know I know who your OTP would be if I opened up to all of the characters from all of the books that you've read, including the unpublished. No, but ones. again, he w he wouldn't like me though. Like we wouldn't get on. I mean, we would, but we wouldn't. Uh, he was originally from your head, so... I know, but we're nothing alike. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> may, you know you know who would be really interesting to date would be, like, uh, Ganga, because she's got, like, four arms. Oh, She yeah. does, yeah. And she's super smart. Oh, yeah. yeah she is super smart. <laughs> she's super smart, and she does have four arms, yes. And she has yeah. four arms, you guys. How I don't know if that was your criteria. Not because she's smart and super nice, no, but because no, she no. has she four need, arms. She doesn't need any of that. It's amazing <laughs> that she is also that, but... <laughs> Um, so who should be the next contestant chat on this crazy game show of Make Your OTP? Should it be Flutter or should it be Ghost? We also, poll. for those who are wondering, well, we didn't need to make a poll last time because everyone just nominated Woof, but we We're can make a poll. We're making a poll this time. I'm, I'm doing it. Um, Do it. <laughs> it's going to tie because it always ties, but we'll see. Um, Ghost did ask me earlier today if he was supposed to create a persona for when he's a contestant, and he did not tell me whether or not he actually came up with one, so, um, we'll see. I feel bad that you haven't read any of my books. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's not a requirement of enjoying my streams that you read my books. Um, and also, I know that there are various reasons why people may hang out with me but not have read my books. It might not be your genre. Books are expensive as well, and if you're moving, I know you're probably putting a lot of money into that. So no worries at all. And time. Time, time is yo, another thing. If, books, if you're moving, you ain't reading books anything books right now. Books are a very time-consuming hobby. <laughs> Peter wants Flutter. Squanchy wants Ghost. Who's gonna break the tie? Flutter, 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 Flut Ghoster. <laughs> nice, nice job abusing your mod privileges there. Uh, we do have two. We have two for Flutter in chat, but we have two for Flut Ghoster in the poll. There's an actual poll, guys. Oh, just, there's just a poll. Just in the poll Float if you can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is so suspenseful. And it's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but according to chat... Uh, Shagra's here. We have, <laughs> according to chat, we had uh, two votes for Flutter and one vote for Ghost. Uh, so we can go with what was said in chat and we can let... We can let Ghost be the last person and I don't know if that frightens me or not or reassures me. <laughs> I think Woof gets a vote since he went first. Um, well, who do you Ooh, pick? That's Woof? not bad. Woof? And who is whoever? We want to do Flutter next. That's that's, cool. that's what happens whenever you ask Woof a question about what he wants. Yeah. I don't, he I never can't. answers. Uh, and you just have to decide. If we want to do Flutter next, that's cool. I think we want to. I think we want to do Flutter next. <laughs> I think it's happening. I think Flutter. Are you ready is... to handle the three of us all at once? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> all right. Uh, I have to see who I'm supposed to be this time around. Yeah, I don't have anything for this except the questions. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Um, so let's give people numbers. Do you want to pick what numbers make the most sense from your perspective? Who's which number? <laughs> um. Uh... Yeah, it would be Ghost is number one, Meg is number two, and Woof is number three. All right. In the order that is, I have I have my open oh, my my Discord spread across the top of one of my screens, so it's a one big horizontal <laughs> line of cameras. So <laughs> that's the order I put it in. <laughs> so Ghost is contestant number one. Uh, oh, I didn't even think about asking these questions. What would I ask? Um, <laughs> 
too busy worried about wow. answering them. <laughs> I was. I was really worried about all that. Um, white, white. What's your best pickup line? First of all, I was very <laughs> confused. I was like, is she asking why or what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What? What? Okay, all right. So, what is it? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Did you not answer these questions? He didn't really prepare. <laughs> he did tell did. me what voice I he's didn't. planning on using for this, though. And I'm, oh, no. I'm getting myself ready for that. Oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. My best pickup line. Well, uh, it would have to be, "Hey, baby, want to climb up my wizard tower tonight?" <laughs> okay. Well, I can't unhear that. So. <laughs> <laughs> My best pickup line. Okay. Um... Oh my gosh. I didn't even. I didn't plan for this either. Uh, why? <laughs> Squanch, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> why don't you and I. Why don't you and I uh, strip down to our comfortables and enjoy the evening? Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm still recovering from ghost. <laughs> it is a, a full on proposition. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, okay. All right. I, I, this is killing me right now. I'm gonna fail so miserably at this. <laughs> um, uh, contestant number three. Same question. Hey, wanna go grab a drink? <sighs> Flutter needs a minute in the other room now. <laughs> you all okay um <laughs> you know which one was the best <laughs> okay well in that in that in that um uh, let's just get on to question number two is uh <laughs> what nickname would you give yourself contestant number one well, I already do have a nickname. It is the Midnight Star, and everybody calls me that. <laughs> okay, gosh. <laughs> I could just the number two. <laughs> yes, dear. Yes, darling. <laughs> Uh, what, what would you, what would you call yourself? I would, I have often been called and prefer to be called the Queen of the Night. Uh, and question number three, <laughs> I mean, person number three. What is it, contestant? They start with a K sound and I can't <laughs> figure out. <laughs> Sorry, contestant which, which number three. Which word's starting with K sound? Uh, person. <laughs> <laughs> my husband ladies and gentlemen i have to live with this all day every day all day every your day your wife ladies and gentlemen <laughs> ladies and gentlemen my wife goes <laughs> uh, 
okay. <laughs> okay, um. Question, uh, contestant number three, <laughs> please. <laughs> What's your nickname? I'd call myself way too old to be putting up with this shit. <laughs> All right. Let's swing back around here. Contestant number one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, Liam. <laughs> monster prom Liam. Oh, monster prom Liam, not. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> I don't think Danny, oh, no. I don't think Danny Glover is a character in my book, sorry. <laughs> How do you relax in your free time? Well, I, uh, have my servants draw me up a nice hot bath. Uh, I sip on the rarest brandy from Centaurus 4 <laughs> and, and indulge myself on delicacies of meat and fruit <laughs> from the Feywild. I, I laughed so hard that I had to sneeze, just in case anyone was wondering. Thank you, Peter, for the blessing. <laughs> I have, like, I thought I knew who this was until that last note, and I'm like, wait, did I? <laughs> okay. You, you, could, you could still have it. I was completely <laughs> I reaching. Just... <laughs> Listen, it's fine, disclaimer it's fine. disclaimer the Feywild does not appear in any of my books because it is copyrighted I know, material. I know. <laughs> now I'm just like thinking, but who would do that? Okay. So um somebody who likes to embellish. Um um contestant number two. Um what special gift would you give your partner? Well, this is a very specific question because in order to give a proper gift, of course, one must get to know their partner somewhat intimately in order to choose something that um, they enjoy. Um, for you, I think a spa day, a day of pampering, a day to kick up your feet, perhaps massage, at which I am quite good, um, the best mixed drinks, the best snacks, and then, of course, uh, in the evening, uh, whatever pastime you most enjoy, reading, watching a movie, something like that. Okay. Okay. Again, I, I, thought, I, I, thought, I thought I knew there was, and now I'm like, hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, contestant number three. Um. blow my nose again because ghost keeps making me laugh so hard <laughs> what do you consider <clears throat> the most important trait in a partner uh i'd say uh, reliability without clinginess for another round of questions since you clearly need one. 
I do. Oh my gosh. Like I had ideas, but now I'm like, what is going on? I think I know who Megan is, but I'm not gonna say. I have a Okay, all right, hold on. Um <laughs> See, but at, uh, thinking, thinking of the questions you would ask, like you wouldn't, you know, until you need to know what you need to know about these characters, right? That was the most flutter thing you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you need to know until you need to know. <laughs> so how do you know? <laughs> Just don't um, overthink it. Wait, I know, I know. Impossible. Okay, okay, all right. Same question for all three of you. What is your hidden talent? Are we going in order? Contestant number one. I have no hidden talents. They're all out in the open. And they are everything. <laughs> okay. We have known unknowns, things we know that we know we don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. <laughs> <clears throat> also, uh, Cyberwolf had a pickup line for Flutter. Fair maiden, let me show how someone as beautiful as you should be treated like a queen. Wow, Cyber, that's really sweet. Um, oh, I guess I'm next. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, contestant number three. Or well, two. oh no, no, two, two, two. Contestant number two has not gone yet. My, oh wait, contestant number two is, yes, you. My hidden talent is to see what people are not saying. Um, I can see through the shadows and the veils that the people try to erect and see the truth. Thank you very much. And contestant number three. My hidden talent is my endless well of patience. Also my sarcasm. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like I have, I, I feel like I have ideas. <laughs> uh, are you ready to guess? Are you ready for the guessing stage? Yes. Yes, I think so. I think. So before you guess who the characters are, who do you think would be your OTP? Um. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. I'm I'm trying to She's weighing the options. This is harder than it seems to be. It right? really is. <laughs> if you need to ask another round of questions, you can ask another round of questions. I think it's, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's contestant number three. <laughs> All right, contestant number what? three. What? This is preposterous. <laughs> and, uh... I demand a recount. <laughs> uh, there's only one vote. Uh, <laughs> the lady doth decide. And uh, who do you think... Uh, this is why democracy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and who do you think contestant number three is? I think it's Liam. Yes! It is! <laughs> Liam Barrows, Liam Barrows. From, from the Celestial Serenade, having a good showing tonight of dating. I um, would do all of Liam. <laughs> yep, Liam also, you can also meet him in Just... um, at the end of all things on sale for 99 cents. What were you gonna say, Ghost? <laughs> Just as I designed his original incarnation. I thought Wolf did a very good job. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and I wrote down answers yeah. for all of these pre, like pre-wrote. Oh, wow. That was smart. That was smart. I didn't do that. You, that's really smart. That's really smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Liam is loosely based on a character of ghosts that he kindly let me turn into someone else. Um, Liam is one of my favorite characters as well in um, the Celestial Serenade. Super fun to write. Um, and who do you think contestant number uh, one was? I think contestant number one was, um... This was the hardest one. Um, I think... I 
had an answer and now I'm like, did I? Go with your gut. It's Sentamoru. Yep, from from uh, the Mystical Island trilogy, my yeah. very first, <laughs> my very first series. Uh, you can meet. Someone I had it known written as down as on my notes, like I wrote Mr. down the Black name, Beast. but it was for this the answer to question number two. Like, I just wrote <laughs> Sentamoru. <laughs> <laughs> you can meet him in uh, Island of Lost Forever. It's my very first book that I ever published. Uh, also, um, I won't, I'll mention this in a minute, but uh, who did you think? Oh, Flutter has it. That was my very first book that I ever published back in 2014. And now we were in England at the time. Uh, and who did you think contestant number two was? Newt. Uh, Newt? Ah, yes. No, sadly. Newt. Wrong series. No? Okay. I had a moment where I, I was like, wait, no. I, I, I was wrong things. too then, if, the, if that's not the right series. I, that's will, give I, you, was, I yeah. will give you a hint. It is someone from uh, Dream Things True. Um, Jay Chili, oh. hello. Welcome to this madness. Oh. Hello, Are you... Are you... The Queen of the Night? Yes. <laughs> um, my god, names are killing me right now. Do you want me to just tell you? <laughs> Flutter's trying to guess which character want, I was playing. You want a letter, a one letter? Yes, please. L? That's not helping me. Oh. Wow, maybe I don't know what it is. Uh, That's an assumption. I could also be wrong. This is this is this is dream things true. This is dream July and follow on from life is right? but a, life is but a dream. Uh, right, she was introduced. Yes. How do I not? I should I should know this. <gasps> You're gonna, you're gonna kick yourself as soon as I I'm say I'm gonna be name. so mad. I'm sure I'm gonna be so mad because I do know all of these characters. Wait, it's an L? It's... I'm assuming. Wolf's right. Oh, okay. All right. Wolf has it. I think Wolf has it nailed. Say it, Wolf. <laughs> is it Lilith? It is Lilith. Uh, okay. The okay. woman originally <laughs> created by the gods to marry Adam. Uh, who was, uh, he ultimately chose Eve instead, and so Lilith became the Queen of the Night. Um, I forgot to mention uh, when we were talking about Asuk before, but I'll mention it now. Um, those two characters are from Dream Things True, my uh, high fantasy reimagining of Dante's Inferno, uh, very heavily based on a lot of uh, Sumerian and Babylonian mythology. Uh, so you will find some Bible stuff in there. Um, and I'm gonna run to the Yep, no problem. And uh, Lilith, one of the sort of mythological characters that was really fun to write because there are lots of different versions of Lilith. Uh, and I, I was quite happy to make my own. Jay right. Shelley, how are you? There's been two rounds of this madness so far. <laughs> um, and I think Listen. Ghost is going to get to find, oh, we'll have to actually ask, um, is Liam your, uh, now that you know all three options, is Liam your, still your final choice? Liam is still my final choice. <laughs> and uh, if, if you were to be able to pick from any of the characters uh, in my books, uh, including ones not represented here, is Liam oh. still the one that you would favor as your OTP? In all of the... All of the books? That are published, not the ones that you've read that aren't. <laughs> Although you haven't read the Dameron books yet, so it's a little bit safer. Listen though, like, 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 can't we consider, you know, a, a poly situation? <laughs> um, <laughs> what, no. which, which, No, uh... that's not the nature of the question. Well, it is oh. what's your OTP. Uh, which characters would you have in this Bali situation? Um, okay, okay. Uh, definitely. Okay. 
<laughs> I feel like I feel like I've broken her All by giving them. her what she wants. She asked me if she could have something. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, I didn't expect this. I didn't think I would be given everything I always wanted. Um. <laughs> Pretty much all of them. You're right. Okay. Well, probably. Yeah. Uh, Liam, I, I definitely Liam. I I think that that was interesting that you picked that one for. Oh, Liam was <laughs> the first one I picked for you. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm just. I'm thinking. Hold on. There are people in these books that I just. There's lots of them. There's lots of them. There's. There's the, uh, um, Mur, Mur, Moru, and, uh, um, they're all in that series. I feel like they're all in that series. Character, <laughs> character who has yet to be, uh, Marumi, character has yet to be introduced in Celestial Ceremony. Oh, yeah, Ceremony, never mind. But yes. Not published. Sorry, guys. No, Sorry. it's okay. I, at um, least she's from a series that is currently I out. I all of them. Question I was mark. thinking like way into the future. <laughs> I do find it interesting I mean, that you thought Bez with... was the one splicing movies together though, since she has done that in game. Yeah. Can I, can I pick myself? Like Loki. Loki is. Oh Loki yeah, is you can pick anybody. I feel like Loki and I can get along, yo. <laughs> I mostly <laughs> didn't pick Loki as one of your dating options because I thought you would like to portray Loki. So. Yeah. Um, oh, I appreciate that. But yeah. like, yeah, I, 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 I can get along with Loki. <laughs> All right, there we go. Two happy uh, OTP contestants. I'm I'm over two on uh, picking picking people that my people like. Uh <laughs> oh, but you picked Liam, which is the one that I would. That's like. what I'm saying. I, mean, I guess I'm I guess I'm two I'm two up. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like I've picked I picked the people that my people like. Right. Um. Yes. And now it is Ghost Pepper's turn. Yeah. To <laughs> Dito. Are you excited? Are you super excited? Um, just to catch up for anyone who's come into this madness in the middle, we are celebrating the release of my latest book, Duality, which is here in the center of the screen. Uh, if we hit that new release command, it will give you the link. You can go over and check out the fourth book in the Celestial Serenade, Duality. Uh, just dropped today, uh, and if you haven't checked out the series yet, and you like digital books, you can hop on over to The End of All Things, the first book in the series. It will be linked to this book here on Amazon. Uh, that is 99 cents, uh, just this week only, until Friday at midnight, when it will revert back to being $3.99. Uh, so it's a great time to try it. All the books are available in paperback and digital editions. And I don't think I've mentioned this before, but if you are subscribed to Kindle Unlimited, you can read them for free and I do get paid. Uh, just make sure you turn on your uh, Kindle or other e-reader device to the internet at some point after reading so that it can register your page reads. Is Ghost still lamenting <laughs> his Asuk accent? <laughs> also Kitty, hello would... Kitty. I would say I would say that is accurate, Peter. <laughs> I would say that it is definitely not a Highland accent. That's for sure. <laughs> um, Ghost, would you like to number us according to what makes most logical sense for you as you are looking at this? Screen? All right. Uh, Megan one, Flutter two, Woof three. <clears throat> So you said you said you could get into like some sort of character for being the If you would like to be if right? you would like to be a character to be the contestant, please feel free. Okay. Okay. Ghost doesn't want to be himself apparently. Hi everyone. I'm interviewer number three. Oh my God, it's, it's so good to meet all of you. So my first question is my stupid ex-boyfriend, Jeremy, uh, I told him when we go to Cancun on vacation, he was supposed to propose to me. We were supposed to get married, uh, but, but he dumped me for this 16 year old bimbo at the Tiki bar. So what a, what a giant douchebag. 
But anyway, enough about that guy. Uh, I want to ask you, contestant number one, how would you propose to me? I'm contestant number one, right? Yeah. I just want to disclaimer this and say that I chose people for ghost, not for whoever this is. So this is going to be super, <laughs> this is going to be super crazy right now. Um, my best, best princess is like, oh, no. a little bit deeper. oh my God, who just read it? <laughs> Sloth Siren, hello. Oh my God, thank you for the raid. I don't know what you've just stumbled into. This is insanity. <laughs> timing. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, this is terrible timing. timing. Welcome, welcome Slow raiders. Raid. Thank it. you. Uh, can I, I get a shout out, shout out uh, for Sloth? Uh, welcome raiders, welcome again, Joe. Uh, Cutie Pie, Oh, that's such a cute name. Hey, is it uh, Halo Banshee? Welcome. Fluffy Moose, hello. Red 62TO, hello, hello. Judy Pie, welcome. There is a kitty. Already ordered your copy. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Good we are here celebrating the release of the fourth book in the Celestial Serenade series here on my screen right now. If we do the new release command again, it will take you to the link. Uh, this is my fourth book in my space opera, The Celestial Serenade. Uh, and if you click on the first book, The End of All Things, uh, it will take you to um, that book right there on Amazon, which uh, the digital version is on sale for 99 cents this week only. Um, I guess I've been neglecting to say um, The Celestial Serenade is a space opera. Uh, so it has a vast sweeping setting. It takes place among the stars and also here on Earth. Uh, it focuses very heavily on the interaction between characters as that is the nature of space operas. Um, I'm heavily biased towards space operas. I have two of them in publication right now. I very, very much love them. Um, and that's what we're doing today. We are playing an old style dating game. Um, I've called it Make Your OTP. Uh, so far, um, oh gosh. Uh, Halo Banshee, hopefully I'm saying your name right. Correct me if I'm not. Thank you so much for the follow. Super you appreciate it. You were specifically, so. Uh, oh, it, is, it is like the dating game. Uh, so far, Wolf and Flutter have found their OTPs with characters of mine from the Celestial Serenade, very popular tonight. And now um, Ghost has adopted a persona. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Now that sloth is here, that persona has gone out the window. Are we oh, starting no. over? Are we starting over? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna give her. I'm Embrace gonna give her. It. I'm just gonna do it. I'm All just right. gonna do it. Um You are and you're one of like three people who have. Oh, well I'm I'm proud of that because I don't usually say names right. Uh but I like to try. Uh, welcome to the stream. Normally, how, how else would people say it other than Halo Blanche? Oh, I did. I There's no the L. L. <laughs> you Halo say Banshee. Blanche. Yeah, right? I almost said it Blanche too, but I have a really bad habit of Blanche. of Blanche. moving letters around, um, and so I just look at everything. Know. Yeah, it's Halo. Know. It's Halo Banshee. There's no L after the B. Wow. So many people right. say it that but way. But it's because yeah. your brain automatically inserts yeah. it because it wants to see the word. Yeah. But we're with That's you, true. Halo yeah. Banshee. And there, there, is, there is an L earlier on. Uh, so for anyone oh, who's uh, new to my streams, normally I stream my writing sessions. I'm a science fiction and fantasy author, if that isn't obvious already. Uh, most of my streams consist of me tippy tap typing on my keyboard. Um, during the day, this morning I did about 4,000 words on stream, which was totally awesome. Um, well, there are no blurps because normally I don't, um, normally I don't like interruptions to my stream because normally I am concentrating very heavily, so, and I didn't think to install blurp for tonight. There was a lot of panic involved in setting up this stream. Um, but yeah, so if you're, if you're looking to know what you will normally see on this channel, um, it's usually much less crazy than this on at least some level. Uh, okay, so, um, Shagraz, hello! Welcome Shagraz. to the stream! Hello, hey, Shagraz. Well, um, I think you still hold the record 
for distracting me at 54 minutes. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> I love that your sub badges are ink quills. Yeah, I tried to pick something that would be writing related. Also, um, you guys, I don't know if I can reach with my headphones on. Fluffy Moose, thank you so much for the follow. Fluffy Moose. It's based Moose. on uh, Heck yeah. this here lovely quill that my husband bought for me um, as a gift. I don't remember if it was specifically anniversary or birthday, but uh, this lovely quill, which also features in my logo, as you can see. Um, on the side there. So there we go. I, I thought that would suit me. I thought that would suit me really well. Ghost Big Softy confirmed. Uh, yeah, he's gonna try to deny it, but yeah. We'll see. Yep. Uh, it's Ghost's turn to date the person. Um, so. so how would I? How would I propose? Um, well, I would take you to um, your favorite beach in Cancun, and um, I would make sure that when we arrived at the resort, um, that not only you had the best room, but that there were flowers uh, strewn across the bed. Um, and then I would wait until we were on the moonlit beach and the moon was setting in the background um, with the delicate moonlight on the waves and I would get down on one knee and point to the sky um, where plane would sky write will you marry me and then there would be fireworks oh my god that sounds so lovely uh, contestant number two yes how would you propose to me? Help me get over that jerk, Jeremy. I would first make you a delicious meal and serve you and make sure you had your fill. And then we would take a walk down to the woods and set up by the creek a little picnic with dessert and it would have champagne <clears throat> and amongst nature. I would ask you. Sounds lovely. Oh my goodness, that would be such a good time. Uh, contestant number three. I would lay a fine table with fruits, wine and meats, bring the pelts of animals I've hunted, riches and jewels from far and wide, and the spears of those who have fallen at my hand. All these and more I would lay at your feet to show my devotion to you as I asked for your hand in marriage. That it is at least how it is expected, though I expect you would likely want something a little more intimate. I <laughs> know, I love gifts. Thank you so much. Speaking of which, my stupid ex Jeremy, he was always so cheap. He always gave me things that he regifted. It was so annoying. Did you know that the engagement ring I picked out for him to give me was $50,000? He said that was too much. Oh my goodness, what an ass. Uh, what kind of special gift would you give to me? Contestant number two. Let's start with you, cutie pie. I would give you a mirror that you could contact me through, that you could carry with yourself, a small mirror, like a compact, so that you can get in touch with me whenever you need me. Oh, thank you. I do love to be pampered. Um, contestant number three, what special gift would you give me? Well, if jewels and riches are what your heart desires, then that is what you shall have. I will go out and conquer and bring you back the greatest riches, anything that will fill what your heart desires the most.
All right, contestant number one. Uh, well, in my country, where I come from, uh, when you care about someone greatly, the tradition is to go together to visit the night garden, which is a very special garden that only blooms for a few nights each year as the plants inside of it um, are very special and very rare and um, traditionally uh, when you wish to court someone you would pluck one of the flowers from the center they're very expensive uh, because there's a limited number of them so you have to pay in order to have the privilege of picking one and i would pluck one of those flowers for you Oh, sounds nice. Good night, Red. Thank you for stopping by. Good night, Red. Okay, I really like this question. I like to date accomplished people, not like that loser Jeremy. So if you were gonna win a special award, what would it be for? Let's start with contestant number three. It's easy for Rossity on the battlefield. I wonder if he's actually writing things. <laughs> <If> he's just <laughs> pretending. You have to though. At some point, you have to decide which one, and you have to be able to argue why. So Jamie is apparently up. single now. I don't know who. I don't know who goes. I'm a loser. <laughs> Would you, you say that you're, you're? Would you say that your? <laughs> would you say that your ferocity in the battlefield is matched in the bed sheets? Contestant Absolutely. number three. Absolutely, there is no disappointment with me. Well, Jeremy always told me the same thing, and let me tell you, there was disappointment. Well, contestant number two. I will change my answer. What? If what you desire most is Jeremy's head, I will bring you that instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number two. Here's the full crazy what that I expected. What would be your special award? <laughs> My knowledge of magic? All right, what are, what are some things you can do with your magic? I love magic tricks. Oh, I mean, you know, moving from one place to another in the multiple, multi, multiple dimensions that exist in our world. Uh, and, um, you know, magic. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's really nice. But um, can you do like the the taking the coin out from behind someone's ear trick? I'm sure I could probably manage that if you gave me. Oh wow, that is so cool. <laughs> Contestant number one, what would be your special award? Uh, well, I have an uncanny knack for good guesses. So I seem to be able to know when a baby is going to be born or what horse is going to win a race, things like that. Wow, that is so cool. Now, I think I have contestants number one and two down, but I don't know about you, contestant number three, you're so mysterious and hot. <laughs> um, <laughs> <You're so laughs> <sorry>. ah! <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> Contestant number three, if you described yourself as an animal, what animal would you be? Despite the fact that I was holding a cat, I would be a noble hound, forthright, forward, loyal, vicious when protecting that which needs protecting, like you. Okay. The only thing I need to be protected from is stupid douchebag ex-boyfriends and all their stupid empty promises. 
His life is yours. This I Good. Believe. Good. Even if I don't pick you... Sure. <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> oh my god. Jeremy wouldn't even go get me a Timmy's. <laughs> Okay, I think I have my guesses ready. All right, so first question, what's the name of your contestant? Um, if you didn't at least prepare this much. Shoot, I did not. <laughs> uh, Come on, my name is Carly. <laughs> God, I'm sorry, Carly, if you ever see this. Uh, Carly, who is Carly's uh, choice of who would Carly want to date? Contestant one, I two, or three. Think, I think that uh, Carly's answer is different from Ghost's answer. From Ghost Pepper's yeah, answer. Yeah, so first. Carly's answer, Carly's answer is number three. And what's Ghost Pepper's answer? Uh, Ghost Pepper's answer is number two. Interesting. All right. And who do you think uh, contestant number three is? This is probably the hardest one for you because you Oof. are less familiar with this oh. book. Oh, then I got it wrong. Okay. Well, it's okay. Who did you think it was? Uh, my guess is Aramond. That's a very good guess. Um, and I could see that as the answer. Uh, this is a character from Eternity's Empire. Mm. Okay. If you wanna, if you wanna make another guess. Uh oh, god. Mythological character. <sighs> Who's mythological character? Oh, oh, well, this this would be like the the Zeus Zeus character. Very close. It is. It's Ares. I know you haven't read this far in the series, oh, so okay. I tried to pick okay, someone okay, who would okay, be okay. easy to guess, and I think Wiff did a really good job of representing yeah. Ares. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Lord Ares, God of War. If you had asked the nickname, I'm sure it probably would have been right. easier. Right, right, right. Um, and who do you think contestant number two, Ghost Pepper's choice is? Well, if I asked you what animal you would be and you said a hound... You didn't say a boar? I did a Google search and it said that in one of the representative animals of Aries was dogs. Oh no, so oh, then click you have. someone clipped you saying I don't know that you were that's... Carly. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> not Sorry, based Carly. on a real person. Right. Not based on a real that's person. That's not in the clip. No one's gonna clip the second thing. It's no. fine. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, who do you think? Who do you uh, think? Who do I think what? Sorry, Which what one? were you going to say? You were saying something. Oh, nothing. No. Uh, who did you think contestant number two was? Ghost Pepper's first choice. Uh, I think that one is uh, Ka Catalan. It's been forever. I forget. I yes. think that's how you pronounce it. Catalan, the, the, from... the protagonist. Yeah. From Island of Lost Island Forever. Of Lost yeah. Forever. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep. yep. And I tried really hard to embody her. You did really good. <laughs> yep. Ghost threw a real big curveball really well. in there. She did. She was just like, well, maybe I don't want to date you anyway, so cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who was contestant uh, number me? Uh, Alrea. Yes, from the Celestial Serenade, right here in the middle. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, considering that you hadn't read... I was I was pinging back and forth, but then when you said that you, you would get an award for good, good guesses, guesses, I was like, ah, there it is. Yeah. Well, and I specifically, <laughs> I specifically echoed back the scenario to you in the first uh, round because El Rayo would be able to know that that's what, how you wanted to be proposed mm. to, essentially. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I thought I thought it was I thought it might have been uh, Kaylee from Dreamers Do Lie. 
at first mm -hmm. um, because she number one was very very good girl esque. That is a thing in there. Which which was yeah. which is <laughs> which is part of which is part of the MacGuffin, right? Which right. is part of Kaylee Kaylee's whole thing. Like she has to be that way. But uh, I was like, oh. I think oh. I wrote. <laughs> I'll tell. I'll show you my notes after. <laughs> <laughs> I I did. <laughs> I did almost pick. I did almost pick. Um, Catelyn, Kaylee, and El Rayo for you, but I tried to pick um, at mm. least one alternate uh, gender character for each mm. Um, mm. round, so that yeah. nobody was, you know, yeah. pigeonholed That's by uh, Absolutely. Yeah. And Carly yeah. and Carly did not pick um, Ares because he was the hetero choice. Carly picked Ares because he was all about like spoiling her. Oh, I figured. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. No, I figured that absolutely. Right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, well that's that's what Carly Attracts. that's what Carly wants is to to be utterly spoiled rotten because she is spoiled rotten. Right. Uh, is Carly's ex Jeremy based on a real person? No. Jeremy Jeremy just has a so there was um Jeremy. oh god Jeremy. my brother and i my well my brother and i used to watch uh the amazing race i'm not i'm not proud to admit ever watching a oh my god TV i remember show, i know exactly what you're watch, talking about yeah we used to watch the amazing race and there was one year where there was a couple that fought all the time and the, the guy was named Jeremy and the girl was named I don't even know what but she blamed him for everything and oh my god seconds, Jeremy was, Jer Jeremy Jeremy <laughs> but even, even when they were imagination <laughs> <laughs> even when they were separated like he wasn't even like in the same city as her for some challenge and something went wrong and she's like Jeremy <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> Uh, and so uh, they're all real people in my imagination. Yes. If we opened, yeah. if we opened it up to uh, the books of mine that you've read, who would you choose as your mm. ultimate OTP? Hmm. That's a hard one. Honestly, I am not as up on the the books as the other two people. That's okay. From the ones here. that you've read, obviously. Out of the ones that I've read, I think I think it might be I think it might be Catalin, it might be Catalin, or or it might be Kaylee. Sort of between the two of them. Of course, yes. it is. So I, I picked you all pretty well. I I, uh, I zoned in on... I, I actually figured um, that Wolf would pick Salas, that Flutter would pick Liam, and that Ghost would pick Catelyn. <laughs> Those were... That's what I was uh, gunning for. Because she knows us all really it's, far too much. It's the job. <laughs> it's the job of a writer. Um, so we'll give... I'll give a little bit of a... I'll give a little bit of a rundown on the information that I provided. Because we have time. That didn't take nearly as long as I expected I the insanity right to go. Um, the only time I ever watched that show was when Bernie and Ashley were on Amazing Race 28. We never got as far as 28. I think we watched, like, the first Definitely five seasons. Definitely did not get that far. Yeah, yeah, we watched a couple. Um, <laughs> but that was about it. Uh, so to give you a rundown on the information that was provided to the players uh, for this evening. Um, so for Sintomaru... Uh, I gave Ghost the information. Sintomaru is Lord of the Island when Catalan and Damien first arrive to explore the mysterious island that appears off the coast of California where they live. He is a mysterious figure who has spent his entire life on an island which hops through various dimensions. He is inc an incredibly powerful sorcerer and on the surface extremely charming. He has a considerable ego and is used to being praised and told what he wants to hear. As such, he's fairly averse, adverse to criticism and doesn't react well when things do not go his way. He prides himself on being an extremely good host and runs a magical bathhouse, uh, which is the main feature of his island. His power connects him so strongly with the island where he lives that he can modify it or any building on it at will. 
And I did provide for him Sintomaru's special name, although it is not called- he is not called that by anyone other than, um, one specific character in the book. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I thought you did a pretty good job of representing, uh, that character. Uh, I thought so. I had to- I had to search up, like, wizard pickup lines. <laughs> Because <laughs> I was asked to give a pickup line, and I'm like, oh no. In retrospect, I regret uh, including the pickup line. He also, a he also, he also had that little, uh, he also had that little outburst at the end. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Because you because you said he doesn't react well when things don't go his way, and he's yes. he's averse to criticism. Absolutely, I loved that. What were you saying, Wolf? A wizard staff. Said a wizard staff has a knob on the end. Wow brows um <laughs> i have to i have to say i have to say like when i said i, I looked up the uh wizard pickup lines and and just picked the first one uh i did not i picked the second one because the first one was like a joke about the kkk and i was like oh, wow oh, okay oh, no. oh, no. yeah. <laughs> all right yeah glad that didn't come up um, I was like, I'm not going to tell that joke. <laughs> for uh, Liam, uh, I wrote, uh, Liam is an accomplished military officer. Prior to the dragon's arrival, he was stationed near Washington, D.C., but after he relocated to Antarctica to watch over Earth's most valuable assets. Uh, for most of this time, he wore the rank of Major, though he became one of the world's most decorated officers in the wake of the dragon's destruction and is known to be the top expert in developing tactics to combat it. He is generally known as a dry and he is generally known as dry and humorless, though he does have a somewhat dry and dark sense of humor. Uh, Liam is a no-nonsense individual who prefers blunt honesty and thus has been labeled somewhat short and moody due to the brief and blunt way in which he communicates. He has a low tolerance for anything he considers to be superfluous. I love me, Liam. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> even though even though I didn't need this information, I wrote this for my blog. So um, the blurb for Lilith, um, the other option for Flutter is uh, Lilith was the first woman created by the gods to serve as a wife to Adam, the first man. Unfortunately, she was not the only candidate presented to Adam, and he rejected her because she was too strong-willed, choosing instead to marry Eve, making her the mother of all. Rejected and dejected, Lilith spent many years wandering alone before she was eventually drawn to Lucifer and his cause. After Lucifer's exile into hell, he sent her to guard his interests in the sacred temple where Eve also dwelt. She is an enigmatic and sultry individual. Rumor has it that she excels in the seduction of both men and women. She has demonic wings and horns and an oddly anachronistic sense of fashion. And you know, I would absolutely love to. You, I I know that's why you chose those two for me. Yeah. Like, with... <laughs> yeah. <There's... laughs> she is a browse individual. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, it's a hard decision. So, um, uh, by the way, Striker, with me not having internet, maybe I will get the determination to rewrite my Emerald Knight Castaway. Hopefully, Ooh. I would certainly be a good opportunity to do some writing. Um, that sounds fantastic. The information that was given for Wolf's round, um, for Ghost Pepper, uh, Asuk is a warrior who hails from the far north region known as Vizald. Their warriors tend to live in wandering clans. The Vizaldi are known for their prowess on the battlefield and are often hired as mercenaries by the surrounding kingdoms. Asuk is known for being abrupt and blunt, and she knows next to nothing about diplomacy. However, she is an extremely skilled warrior and tactician. Like other members of her clan, she favors leather armor and wields a battle axe. Um, so given the information that he was provided with, I thought Ghost did a pretty good job with her as well. Oh, um. I... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and for Loki, uh, Loki is a Jotun, but she was plucked from the, rem from the remnants of a battlefield by Odin the Allfather and raised as his daughter alongside Thora. Loki is, has an aptitude for illusion magic, which makes her prone to trickery and pranks. She is known for being a force of chaos, and often this leads her to develop a bad reputation. From a young age, she realized that her people, the Jotun, were ill-treated by her adoptive clan and tried to establish contact with the Jotun leaders so that she could assist. 
After Odin's disappearance, she was accused of attacking an Imperial convoy and exiled, at which point she became the Queen of Space Pirates. Loki is a chaotic individual who acts according to her own whims of the moment, but she's also extremely intelligent and tends to have a difficult to trace long-term plan. So she's sort of the mastermind. Um, Jotun. I love her. <laughs> Yelton. Yelton. Jo Jotun. Jotun. <laughs> Remember, remember we, remember we used to oh play that game Guild Wars Two, and there was, <laughs> there's supposed to be like all Norse flavored, and there's like a dragon named Yormog who is supposed to be based on Jormungandr, and uh, but oh, they'd be like Jormag. <laughs> oh, I remember Jormag. Is that why it was? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I never yeah, realized. It was so oh, bad. That's so bad. It was, it was so bad. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I didn't even recognize it wall. because of that. Yeah. <laughs> they should have yeah. just made up their own name for for what it was. Like, oh my god! No, they clearly didn't do enough mythological research to say any of the names properly. Right. Um, no. for Salas, I wrote um that, and uh, so I actually wrote a bunch of different information here. I wasn't sure which version of Salas I was going to play. Uh, Salas has two distinct phases. The younger Salas is a selfish and self-centered individual who tends to think little beyond his own interests and desires. He is a socialite who thrives at parties and drifts ever towards socialization. Uh, he is husband to the Calterian Empire's greatest warrior, Cantus, and sister to Alrea. He is often compared to a peacock, hence why when you asked what animal I would be, it was I just decided to go with the, the most obvious. Uh, Salas mellows after the dragon's attack, however, becoming a shade of his former self. He puts aside his child childish nature and digs into the work set in front of him, becoming both industrious and dedicated to the various tasks required to stave off his civilization's utter destruction. This older Salas is far more somber and less prone to giving into his passions, and probably would date you better than the original Salas, because he'd still feed you but not want to go to parties. Right. Um, Look, honestly, here, you know what my real OTP is outside of your books? Honestly, it's fucking Scott from Monster Prime. <laughs> like, for real. Scott is such like, a sweetheart, though. Low, low stress. Not, no expectations. <laughs> just be nice and cuddle. That's it. Yep. Um, and then the information for Ghosts Round, which could have pretty much been thrown out the window as soon as he threw that curveball in there. Um, <laughs> right for real, though. Like, as soon as whatever, he did that, whatever. I was like, I have chosen whatever, the wrong... You just have to answer the I question. have chosen the that wrong people for this. No. No, 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 um, no, 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 no. Catelyn is a literature professor working in San Francisco. She has a deep love of nature and history. She's also a very powerful empath, which allows her to sense the feelings of those surrounding her. This has caused her many troubles throughout the past, so she suppresses and hides her abilities, wishing she could be rid of them entirely. Catelyn is also a practicing witch and uses her connection with nature and magic to keep her abilities under control. She has a deep thirst for mystical knowledge and isn't afraid to take risks in order to learn more about either magic or her own abilities. Catelyn is a particularly sweet and kind individual who is always willing to extend a helping hands to others. She is a witch. <laughs> She weighs the same as a duck. <laughs> can I can I just some of the some of the the answers I had for her, I feel like were really very Catalan esque. Uh in terms of like like her character in the in the books. Um for the um where is it? Well, let oh me God. let me finish reading the characters, and then you guys who okay, did prepare yes. answers can share any of the, the answers that you prepared that you didn't get to use that you want to... Yeah. Because we have plenty of time. Um, Ares uh, is the Lord of War and an accomplished and celebrated warrior. His reputation is such that he is known even far beyond the Great Olympus where he hails. He is known for having a spectacularly bad temper and a gruff sense of humor. His reputation also includes a spectacular lust for blood. However, there are some indications that not all his aspects of this reputation are deserved, and it seems some of his behavior may be the direct result of meddling from Zeus. It is possible that Ares has a softer side as a devoted guardian rather than a warmonger, and this would be especially true if he found someone he felt was worth protecting who also returned his affections. Um, and for Alrea, I wrote, I did write summaries of mine just because I'm putting this on my blog, um, with a link to the VOD so that everyone can see how this madness turned out. 
Um, Alrea is the mysterious wife of Anton Larith, a member of the Calterian High Council. Uh, and sister to Salas. Born to a poor family, she also helped to raise her brother after their parents passed away. Hers is a rags to riches story which eventually resulted in her marriage to Anton. Alrea is a quiet and unassuming individual. If her brother is the sun, then she is very much the moon. Alrea is often snubbed by noble ladies, but is favored by many of the male counselors her husband works with. She has an incredible knack for good guesses and can often predict when a baby will be born or when an event will be delayed or canceled. Rumor has it that she has a touch of the Oracle's ability to see the future, though if this were true, she would have been taken to live among them men, Olivia, long ago. Many eons ago. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That was what I wrote down for everybody. Plus, I provided questions in case people wanted to uh, create answers ahead of time. Sleepy, hello. Welcome. Um, so if you guys did prepare answers that you want to share, please feel free to share them because I'd love to hear some of the, the craziness that we didn't get to. I, um, I had the, um, it was the, how would I, how would, nope, not propose. It's, holy cow, I just had it in my, oh, there it is. Oh, what's your best pickup line? Yeah, I'm interested in Catalan. what you prepared for these. Right? This is what I prepared because I did actually read all of these ahead of time and grouse over it yesterday instead of today. Uh, <laughs> now I would answer these. And for some of them, I had like multiple options that I would choose whenever the moment came, nice. depending on what nice. was going on. <laughs> this one was um, your best pickup line from Catalan would have been. Uh, I would hold out my hand and say, hey, I'm going for a walk. Would you mind holding this for me? Aw, that's so cute. I love that. <laughs> I just, I felt like I did, I did the same thing. I just Googled pickup lines. Let's be yeah. honest. I don't understand pickup lines. I liked that, <laughs> I liked that Wolf picked for Liam, let's go for a drink, because I think that's Liam's only pickup line. Uh -huh. Most of his are are that really. Uh, mine is was that how would you propose? Yeah, uh, right. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. I'm not really interested in getting married. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Liam's pickup line is either "Do you want to get a drink?" or "I'm getting a drink." This is why and Liam you can is come my number you one. You picked so well. Yeah. I feel like this is all of the reason. <laughs> also, there's yeah, a most, thing. Yeah. There's a thing in the books where um, the Calterans have. Um, they have these really pretentious ranks, like Lord High General. Like once you get to a certain rank, everything is like lord this and like sir that as well as like the ranks and liam hates that so he's always making snide comments about like at one point they ask him they ask the humans if major is a high rank and liam's response is well it's not lord high fucking general <laughs> uh, right yeah no i love liam oh boy He's fun to write because he just doesn't, he just doesn't give a fuck in the moment. Yeah. And so yeah. sometimes the way he can just bring a conversation to a screeching halt, just completely it's by just saying though. what's it's, on his it's mind. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's, 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 he, that's why he's, Liam is my, is my OTP. That's why. <laughs> he's kind of easy for me because he's similar to Majra or Majra similar to him. In a lot yeah, of ways, that so. was, uh, that was a thought that I had too, that it would be really mm -hmm. easy for you to play. I, I tried to balance between um, characters that I thought everyone would like and characters that I thought would be easy for you guys to embody as well. <laughs> Are you um, accusing us that, of playing all the same characters? Or that? Well, no, no. Just that I wanted, I wanted you guys to have fun, right? I didn't want to, I didn't want to make it like super challenging and be like, here's a character that would be really hard for you. Can you like in five? Because like honestly, I wanted you guys to be able to do it in like five minutes. I know that I don't think Ghost right. prepared answers for anything. I know he's been <laughs> super busy. And he told me earlier that this is the kind of thing he would normally do on a couple of drinks. Um, but it's a school night, so, um... Uh, Ghost has done amazing tonight. With absolutely! <laughs> absolutely! I, I, I agree. I had a fun time. I honestly, 
I honestly thought that was going to take a lot longer um, to do mm. originally. Um, but I guess we have been at it for two hours as well. Because yep. um, we started. Just hit the two hour mark. So, um, yeah. This was sort of a belated um, Valentine's Day event. I was originally going to try to do it on Valentine's Day. Um, but I, first of all, didn't have the book done. <laughs> Uh, in time to actually have the book out on Valentine's Day. Um, and then we were originally going to do this on Thursday with Cauliflumps, which I feel like would have been even more insane. Um, but unfortunately, Kali wasn't able to... I, I had to change um, the schedule, unfortunately, and Kali wasn't able to join us. But um, this was great. I really enjoyed it. Yes. I know Kali was really sad because he was, he was looking forward to... I feel like it would have been even harder for him to guess the characters, because I know he hasn't read um, much yeah. of right. his stuff yet. Yeah. Um, which was another reason I tried to make yeah, it super... I tried to make it super easy. I didn't want you guys to have to, like, know... Like, I know that Flutter and Wolf do have intimate knowledge of my books. He wouldn't have had a clue, but he would have had so much fun, I yeah. feel, like, doing yeah. the scenarios Still and Still picking... Yeah, Flums would have emphatically picked uh, his contestant, and... <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think about which um, characters I would pick for Cauliflumps, because um, I definitely picked different characters for Wolf, and I was trying to. Hang on, there's song lyrics in this. Stop singing. Um, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. I I I specifically picked um, di like I wouldn't pick the same characters that I picked for Wolf for Kali as well, because I feel like right. um, yeah. his, his interest probably would have... I probably would have picked Kaylee for um, Call of Ooh, Forms. that's good. Because I think yeah. he would have been... Because she's very, she's very sweet, and also, yes. but also very, um, like, she sticks to her guns, right, on what she thinks is right. I aspire to be just like Foodle, so you want to threaten to eat everyone that you meet, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure who I would have picked for him. Um, it would have been hard it would have been hard to balance between him and Ghost. There's a honestly. lot because then you have people like like Slade. Right? I know you have people in your books that are kind of like that, you know person <laughs> so. there's definitely i mean not all of my characters are super nice people um no to begin with great. and uh I, well and one of the things i i really i really like Le about liam is that like he's very blunt and abrupt but he's not necessarily a dick um he can come off no, as no. a dick no, uh, but in he the right is situation. absolute honesty. The, he the is, thing yeah. about him is that he just says what is on his mind and how he thinks right at the moment mm. and comes out right there. And that is the thing about Liam. You, he cannot tell you a lie because he just tells you what the fuck he thinks. That's <laughs> Shiraz, I aspire to kill all foodles. Yeah. <laughs> Shagraz... Hates <laughs> no, really? I thought they were best friends. <laughs> Fiona's gonna try to fix this. <laughs> oh, I don't know that people can be fixed, but good luck oh. with that. Yeah. Look, we just need to like hypnotize Chagras and implant false memories of Gnome saying saving his life or something. <laughs> wow. Well, I think I Not feel I feel like now we're talking about Shiraz Shadeheart in the game. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Like that's yeah. Exactly that's what I, I thought mean. we were yeah. always talking yeah. about uh, Shiraz Shadeheart. <laughs> um, I assume that Shiraz the the person isn't going to try and kill a fictional character. I mean, I guess he could by uh, redeem by strategic redeem. I yeah, mean, yeah. The, the I mean, Shagraz the person tries to kill <laughs> all of our fictional characters on the weekly basis, so I feel like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I will say one thing I, I like about being a guest on Winds of Chaos is that I don't have that stress every week. I don't always I don't always have to worry about whether or not we're all going to die horribly, and I can this sometimes is why. enjoy the redeems. This is my why my why my Wednesday slot 
W-A-M-W. Why my Wednesday slot is devoted to recovery. D&D recovery. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think um, looking looking over the uh, the characters that I sort of chose for you guys um, to play, I actually think um, I actually think Liam is a little bit a tiny itty bitty a little bit based on um, ghosts. I, w- I want to say Ghost's darker side, because Ghost's darker side isn't all that dark. <laughs> but, like, Liam is a tiny little bit old man ghost when we're in the car, and he's, like, t- t- yelling at people to drive properly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is something that no one else ever sees except me. Um, and uh, Catelyn is definitely very... Um, younger version of younger version of Flutter, whereas Lilith is a little bit older version of of Flutter. Like Flutter now versus Flutter teenage Flutter. <laughs> um Ghost has a dark side? Yeah, it's the part of him that's like yelling, stop putting on your fucking brakes. He doesn't say the fucking part. Who am I kidding? He doesn't say the F word like ever. Um, that was the first time I've ever heard myself referenced as teenage me version of her. That the character is that. That was weird. Uh, no, what? I think I think Catelyn is very much was very much. De- there was definitely I a teenage don't flutter disagree influence with you in at some levels. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying she was you. I'm not saying I'm not saying Liam is ghost. I'm just saying there are el- elements there. Right, right. Um, and then um, there are definitely there are definitely some Wolf hints in Salas, which I think is why Wolf identifies so strongly with uh, Salas and is like, "Feed me and let me lay on your couch." <laughs> Nature comforts. <laughs> yes. What is this? I yell. Sir a lot when I sir. drive. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ghost uh-huh. definitely Joey yells Sir a lot when he's playing video games as well. Ghost is definitely a different person when he's driving versus when he's everything else. Um Ghost when he's driving is kind of like his dad. He like becomes his dad for a hot minute <laughs> when he's driving. I'll admit that. I'll admit that. <laughs> It's not necessarily road rage, it's just that he suddenly becomes very judgmental of everything that's happening around him. Um, and yeah. d- and isn't afraid to no. comment on it. Um, it's, not, it's, not, it's not hard to stop at a stop sign, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, things like things like that. Or like, what are you doing? What Do you, do you call that a stop? Yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> look at this, look at this yokel, he's gonna do. Yokel. <laughs> I don't know that yokel's the word that he uses, but he's like, look I, at I this. Don't say yokel. But look that's at this a idiot. Word from our home. He I know. Does not use that I know. Word. Well, look, I'm trying to think of examples in the moment. I'm not. I'm not dark side ghost. I don't know what's in his head. I just bear witness. It's the effect of a private box. It is. There's no one to hear him but me, so he just says what's on his mind. (laughs) There's no one to hear. It's like you're in space. No one can hear you scream but me. (laughs) So, true story, Ghost had to drive to the store on a day when it was snowy, and the store is literally a five-minute drive down the street. And he got back and yeah. had like three different stories of people who almost crashed because they didn't stop properly or drive at the right speed. And he was like, yeah, someone was trying to turn at the at the light and I just, he was like, I, I had the right of way and I didn't pull up because this guy comes up wobbling in his giant truck and looking at me like, thank you because otherwise we were going to die. And I was like, yeah, because I actually know how to drive in the snow. <laughs> so I know how to drive in the snow and I know that you don't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let you slide all over the place. So I channel a little, just a couple drops of that into Liam. When I write him. That makes perfect, perfect sense. Absolutely. 
A million percent perfect sense. I know, a million Liams. <laughs> uh, I don't know because people in this area sloth are convinced that we don't have winter even though we do have winter every year so it's like every year people have forgotten what snow is and they they don't know but they, they, they do get snow that's the thing like we do actually get snow every year but people are like it's like they block it out of their memory and then the next year they've forgotten what snowflakes are and how they act um, although people are bad drivers around here, even in the summer, I can't count the number of times that freaking Mack trucks have almost run us off the road because they want to switch lanes and they don't freaking look at who's in the lane next to them. Yeah, that's not a great deal. Um, but yeah, this is mostly the planned content. I hope you guys enjoyed the insanity. Again, the book is, uh, on Amazon. If you hit the new release command, if I can type still. Um, and if you pop over to the first book uh, of the series, which is linked on the page, it is 99 cents right now. You can pick it up, the digital version, for 99 cents. I can't discount the paperbacks, so they uh, are the same price that they always are, but if you're interested in the paperbacks, they are there. There's also, as we said before, really thick boy, Symphony of the Stars, the first three books in one um, giant 700 page paperback. If you'd like to read the book as it was originally written as, as one singular book before I broke it down into three. Beechen, hello! I think there's a life lesson there. Just because something isn't your fault, someone running a red, doesn't mean you can't do something to prevent it messing up your life, like watching and not going, even if it's green. Exactly. And one of the best things to do Beechen. when you're driving in the snow is to be aware of what's going on around you. Mm -hmm. Beechen, not only are you a wise man, but you're a beautiful bee as well. <laughs> Also, I hope you've been enjoying this insanity. <laughs> um, if anyone has any questions for me, book related or otherwise, or if anyone in the chat would like to share who they think their OTP would be based on uh, the crazy antics that you've witnessed here tonight, please feel free. <laughs> this has been so much fun though. Same outfit. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I'd love to do it. I'd love to do it again sometime um, once I have a couple other series out and we can throw, because uh, I did limit it to just the characters in, in books that are currently out. And I do have some right. characters coming up um, in the Aravalia <laughs> Chronicles for sure. And some characters that appear later in the Celestial Serenade that would be really interesting to revisit. Um, this concept. I already right? know who you would pick for me in the later CS books. Or the one person, anyway. Possibly. Possibly. I know who I would pick for Flutter out of the later books. Mm -hmm. um, Sloth's OTP I feel like is I might know that too. Yay! <laughs> I will gladly accept that OTP. That's beautiful. I will be your OTP one true Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently all you gotta do is feed feed and water wolf, and that's really all he wants from <laughs> Hope Sloth chose, like, gremlin? Sloth chose me. Like, oh my god. I love the gremlin. Look. <laughs> Just don't feed look, him after there's, midnight. There's four of us here. Is... One of us is Charmander, Bulbasaur, Swirtle, and Pikachu. Wait, okay, wait, sorry. Wait, which stop, one am stop. I? Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaurus, Pikachu. Charmander, no, Squirtle. oh my god. It's, it's honey, it's no, Bulbasaur. It's not, it's not Bulbasaurus. It's not Bulbasaurus. <laughs> you this all the time. It's not now maybe Joe will understand why we keep in coming head. into his chat and saying <laughs> Bulbasaurus. Because I think the first time we went in Joe's chat and we're like, is Bulbasaurus in this game? He was like, who are you people and when am I murdering you? <laughs> Um, <laughs> until we explained that it was a joke. This is why, this is why, because that is the character that is in. Oh my god. No, wait, so which You've one of us is, which me. one of us is which, though? Who's Charmander? Hold on, I Pikachu mean, is probably me. Terrible. Well, I think Charmander, because Ghost has the <laughs> fire behind him. He's Ghost Pepper, so. First of all, Flutter is 100% Jigglypuff, and you cannot convince me otherwise. But that That's wasn't the fair. game before that we listed. I don't give a shit. You're Jigglypuff. <laughs> Woof Great, is Snorlax. Thanks. Yeah, I I'll accept that. Thank you, Sloth. 
But of I the four you that too. you mentioned, which one am I? Which one are you? Yeah, because I wanted to be Charmander uh, and I was denied, so all uh, other answers are wrong. You're, you're, no, 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 no. You're you Mr. can be. You're Mr. Mime. Charizard. Fuck you, Ghost. Wait, Charmander. You. I don't know. I'm lost. Charizard is like the evolution of <laughs> yeah. Charmander. But no, of the four original that you said, which one was I supposed to be? You don't get to wriggle out of this. Oh, I don't know. I didn't actually say. Okay, well, well, Flutter was definitely Bulbasaurus. Yeah. What? Listen, I, I love Bulbasaurus <laughs> the moment that I saw him. Look, I was literally With going little, by like, people's color schemes, not by their so personality. I see, I and, see. Like, and I had a girlfriend drawn. You were there. You were there, Striker, when I had a girlfriend. I should do this this way, sorry. You were there when I had a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing wow. Bulbasaurus wow. on my shoulder while we are in, in quiet. And I remember that, yeah. I'm bootleg <laughs> she's <laughs> never she's never gonna stop calling it Bulbasaurus, by the way. If you if if some of you are sitting there in chat, like if Joe, I'm sorry if you're listening. <laughs> And you're breaking a pencil because you're like, when is she going to realize it's Bulbasaur? Never. We can tell her 20 times and she's never going to stop calling Look, him Bulbasaurus. Look, it's Bulbasaurus, Binosaurus, and uh, it's, Venusaurus. It's a fucking dinosaur turtle named Bulbasaur. I'm not disagreeing with you, but it's called it's Bulbasaur. It's not named Bulbasaurus, though. It's not named that. Look, it's Bulbasaurus, it's Squirtle... Squirtle and uh, Charmander and Pikachu. It's Wait, Charizard. Thank you very Can I much. Just ask for a second. Who is Squirtle exactly? It's Squirtle the is one. the turtle one that spits water. Squirtle is a turtle that spits water. Yeah, it's squir It's a squirty turtle. Squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they make it. What do you think they get? Bulbasaur Thank has you. a bulb That's on his needed. back. He's I a bulb was, dinosaur. He's Bulbasaur. That anyway. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works. Dad's the one you don't want to tell that to. Bulbasaur is his favorite. Uh oh. <laughs> Squirty turtle. Listen, Listen, that's how they meet Squirty Turtle Squirtle. <laughs> bulb dinosaur Bulbasaur. It, it wasn't rocket science. Bulbasaurus. The meow that talks oh, with a bad mouth, meowth. <laughs> the meow. That <laughs> meowth. That's the cat cat mouth. <laughs> I think that Pokemon's called Garfield. Yeah. No. Garfield. That's <laughs> a different on, property. Yeah. Different studio yeah. owns Garfield. <laughs> it's like it's like Deadpool. Or he he, he, he appears in the same world as the X-Men, but he's owned by a different studio, so you never see the X-Men in his Movies. Gooby Doom. Making bad jokes now. Squirtle will be Squirty <laughs> Turtle for now. Tell me that's not why they named it that. It kind of is. <laughs> yeah, Garfield, Garfield is, is a Pokemon, but he's owned, but he's owned by a different studio, just like Deadpool is an X-Men, but he's owned by a different studio, right? What else would you call Squirrel? It's like teen, teenage. No, Are you toddler, trying to mute, think of a turtle. different name for a Pokemon that you don't even know visually what it looks like in your brain right now? Her? What? What is happening what? right now? <laughs> Did you just say Kurt? Did you just say Kurt? Kurt? Did she just? Kurt. Did she just Kurt. give? Did she just give? Did she just give Squirtle a human name? You can you can nickname your Pokemon. No, that's valid. We Chen said, "What else would you call Squirtle?" You said Kirk. It's it's just no. So wait, for henceforth, Pikachu will be known as Brad. It's Kirk. Yeah, yeah, Pikachu's. It's Turtle. now Brad. You call Squirtle Turtle. I don't know. I don't. 
I feel like I lost control of this stream when Ghost decided to be Carly. <laughs> and it's never, I've never got it back. <laughs> Time for me to call it a night, Cyberwolf. Oh have my a goodness. good night. Good luck moving. Cyberwolf, happy move. Keep writing happy great move. books. Yes. Keep wearing good great outfit sweater. Ghost, keep being the goof yeah, you care, are. Man. And Wolf, just try to keep your sanity amongst these crazy people. Thank you so much, Cyberwolf. Can't wait to see you again. Good luck getting internet at the new place. I hope you have all the writing time and that the words flow for you while you're away. Please remember us before we started talking about Squirty Turtle Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk the Squirty Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll always remember this night as the night I put out a new book and Kirk the Squirty Turtle was born. <laughs> <laughs> um oh man um guys i think we should probably wrap it up before this goes too deeply off the rails um but i've had a super yeah. great time i really appreciate you all coming out to uh check out my new book um to learn about everybody's otps uh, for anyone who missed the beginning and is like, I want more of whatever the hell this is, uh, I'm gonna pull the VOD and put it up on YouTube. I'll actually just give a quick link to my YouTube in case um, anyone wants to check out. I think this link should work. Um, there's only a couple of VODs over there right now. Um, I don't post um, my novel writing uh, VODs on there, but my uh, 22 stories in 2022 are being posted over there. My day planner videos and my tea chat videos are over there. I will pop this over there um, as well in a couple of days uh, in case uh, anybody wants to check out the insanity that they missed. <clears throat> So, um, Cyberwolf has been crushing. I think it's just been a, oh, I think it's just been a while since no, Cyberwolf has streamed, honestly. I think it was um, the... No, it's because I messed up the name. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. I see, I see. Cyber, Cyberwolf has streamed, yeah. Cyberwolf does stream. I knew that Cyberwolf did stream, I just didn't know when the last time he streamed was. Right, I promised you... I when uh, Joe Joe I know you're here and I'm assuming when Elden Ring comes out you're gonna stream it. I am also planning to probably, maybe, possibly. <laughs> Thinking right. about it. Maybe. Um. So if anybody has anyone they would like to drop a raid on tonight, let me know. Um, I know that Coffee Quills, if we could get, I'll do a quick shout out for Coffee Quills here in case we decide Isn't, to isn't Coffee elsewhere. doing a special event? Coffee is doing a 22 hour stream uh, oh, at the moment, yeah. a 22 hour writing stream. Um, uh, she has been up I feel, for, I feel good about writing. Uh, nine, yeah, let's about do that. Nine minutes, yeah. nine minutes, nine hours and 30 minutes um wow yeah and um so like getting up to halfway soon it's for 2s day which i think is something from um the opposite side of the world from us i'm not familiar with what it is um but um oh i guess it's because it's 2 22 um because coffee quills is mm. in japan and therefore several hours ahead of us uh, oh, yeah, the 22 thing. Yeah, that oh, explains why all the that explains why an Australian came in oh and said God. happy 2 hours. It's officially day. that day right now for me. Yeah, what? you're two hours ahead of me. Bye. Let's tell them about Kurt the Squirty Turtle. I don't know. I oh didn't boy. <laughs> uh, let me just check um, if she's on break or on sprint right now because she mutes her mic during um, sprint. But, uh, I'm not gonna be up at 3 a.m. doing it. Um, I think she's currently on break for the next five minutes, so I know this is a bit of an abrupt end, but let's head over there and do a raid. This will be my second raid on Coffee Quills today, but when someone's doing something special, you gotta go over. Um, please always keep yeah. Kirk the Squirty Turtle in your hearts, I guess, and minds. <laughs> I'm sorry about what this has become. 
Uh, and what it started as, really, because let's be honest. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by. This was my first big event stream. It means a lot to me. Um, I will be back tomorrow afternoon, 2.30 p.m. Pacific time with more novel writing. If you like clicky clacks, um, come check that out. I'll be writing the next to last scene in my novel that I'm currently writing, which is insane to think and say. Um, also, check these three fine people out. I guess they're below me uh on on your screen uh tomorrow evening at 6 30 pst they will be doing a winds of chaos session i believe is it on flutter dies channel this week or collies i have the thing I ready just i think did. it's mine actually we just yeah i think we, we just, just did, did collies so, we just did yeah. pumps, so i think so it's mine right? they will be over yeah, on so. flutter dies channel check them out and um be sure to check out their individual channels because they're awesome it's people it's gonna be so much fun Looking forward to it. I designed I a very enjoyable dungeon for you guys. Oh, oh, great. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, Woof. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Good night, everybody. I love you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye, guys. It's fine.